an original radio play entitled The Capture of Lizzie Stone. Our star, Miss Ginger Rogers. <laughs> so you want to hear about the capture of Lizzie Stone, huh? Yeah, I reckon you come to the right fella. I'm Jack Wyatt, and I was in her gang, well, it was back in the spring of 78. We was hiding out over to the Salt Lick Flats. We had a pretty good month, too. Robbed the Laramie Wells Fargo office twice. Held up the limestone stage every Thursday for five weeks running and only missed one payroll day at the Lavender Gulf Stables Bank. Yeah, all in all, it had been a fairly passable month. And this was up until the night I'm going to tell you about. We were sitting around the campfire. Uh, funny, I can still see Lizzie just as clear as day. She was a pretty gal. Don't let nobody tell you different. About as pretty as they come. Even in them Levi's and Shaps and with a two-gun holster around her waist. But you couldn't let them looks fool you. Lizzie was tough. But she couldn't stand nobody calling her Lizzie. Always said her name was Lizzie Buck. I guess it was a tomfool idea, but most of us found it weren't a smart thing to overlook. Anybody else want some more Java? Uh, I guess I could stand a cup, Cookie. Coming up, Jack. Coming up. Thanks. Uh, there's still some in the pot. How about you, Lizzie? Uh, the name's Elizabeth. Or had you forgotten? All right, all right. Just a slip of the tongue. Uh, don't, you don't see why you had to put holes in our only coffee pot. Oh, stop your fret. Next time I go into town, I'll steal some sod and you can... Dust that campfire, Jack. Huh? Somebody's coming. Kansas, get over there behind them soon. You cover the head of the trail, Rhode Island. Yeah, right. Hey, hey, where's everybody at? It's me, Sam. Oh, hello, Sam. Okay, boys, you can host your six shooters. Well, what's up, Sam? Well, he's the old paint. Oh, he's... Well, limestone's still there, Le Elizabeth, I mean. Uh, they had a posse out looking for us, but they got lost, and they sent another posse out to find them. Uh, did you run into anybody? Oh, nobody in particular. Well, I thought maybe that, uh, new deputy marshal might have spotted you. No, he was out leading one of the posse. He's oh. mighty interested in that new deputy, Elizabeth. Forget it, Jack. Well, it just seems like you're I always... I said a... forget it. Sure. Oh, uh, hey, I brung you some. Look, uh, here, take a look. Latest wanted posters just come off of the press back in Cheyenne. Uh, I took the first one that they put up in the post office. Uh, here's one of you, Tex. One of Kansas. Oh, here's your boss. Thanks, Sam. Well, what about me? Oh, I'm awful sorry, Rhode Island. They didn't have one of you. Oh. Oh, now, don't take it so hard. Next time we do a job, we'll let you get captured long enough so they can get a snapshot. Somebody's gonna pay for this. What, do you hear me? Somebody's gonna pay for this. What's the matter, boss? This gun picture of me, it's an old one. It was took when I was just a scrawny kid. It don't do nothing for me. <laughs> well, they hiked your auntie, though. They have? Yeah, sure. Read it there on the bottom right there. It says, see? You know darn well I can't read Sam Andrews, and if you're yeah, looking yeah, for I'll, trouble, I'll, you... I'll, I'll, I'll read it to you, boss. Want it, dead or alive, Lizzie. It says Lizzie. I'm just reading what it says. All right, all right, go ahead. Lizzie Stone, reward for her or a body resembling her, $10,000. 10000 Don't seem like they could have had that much left, unless we've been mighty careless lately. Yeah. They got a new shipment of gold in last week. New shipment? Uh, over 15000 here. Well, that's oh. more like it. When do we get started, boss? There ain't no moon tonight, and I'm all saddled. Right, uh, hunch, this is going to be a good day. Oh, yeah. Guns, oh, so oh, I do. Well, uh, you <laughs> ain't a gonna need them. Huh? What? You heard me. But Sam says there's a shipment of gold in town. And all the men folks is out possying. I don't care if they're out of hay riding. We ain't robbing the limestone bank. Not tonight, not tomorrow, not never. What? But what has come over you? Yeah, what's happened, Lizzie? You've changed. No! I ain't changed so much you can call me back. I'm sorry. Well, all right. You might as well know it now. I'm a quit. You're quit? Quitting. I'm not running this gang no more. As a matter of fact, I may give up my life of crime. 
all together. Well, but, well, well, why? I got two reasons. Personal. I bet it's that new deputy marshal. Don't jump to no conclusions there, Rhode Island. Well, maybe you're right, Rhode Island. She sure has been pensive ever since he took her prisoner last month. Yeah, it was mighty strange the way she got away. Tying him up with his own lasso and all. Why, a person would think he wanted her to escape. You shut up about him. But, boss, you can't just cut loose because of some fella. Why, sure not. If you want him so bad, I'll go into town and get him first thing in the morning. I'll bring him back all tied up and helpless and real cooperative. I told you all to keep your mouths shut. Well, I said I was quitting and I am. I intend to never commit no more crimes again. And the first man who tries to stop me will get a bullet right between the eyes. You understand? Well, sure. Sure. Uh, uh, come on, boys. We might just as well mosey over to tent and play a little red dough. It is that new marshal, ain't it? Now, looky here, Jack. Now, take it easy, Elizabeth. I've known you longer than the rest of the boys. I'm entitled to my say. All right, all right. I'm a listening. Well, maybe you fell in love. It's possible. I've seen it happen before. But you can't just throw over a whole career for that. I can do whatever I like, Jack. Well, stop and think for a minute. That deputy swore to bring you to justice. That, that's what they sent him out here for. And what are you driving at? Just this, Elizabeth. The minute you ride into Limestone, he's going to arrest you. <laughs> Ten to one he don't. Huh? Ten to one he don't even try. You think I'll have time for another drink before the stage arrives, bartender? Yep. But do now, isn't it? Yep. You think it'll be on time? Nope. Uh, is it usually late? Nope. Well, then why? Don't usually arrive. What? Ain't showed up for the past six weeks. Lizzie Stone's gang's out in the hills. It's getting mighty hard to hire stage drivers in limestone. But there must be something Hold that I... Hold on to your hats, everybody. Now, what is it, Mamie? The stage is coming into town and the drivers are setting up. Well, Man, I gotta see. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Look at the limestone drivers. How'd you manage to fight them off? Well, I didn't, Marshal. You didn't? What happened? Nothing. We just drive along through the stage break, me and my passenger, and nothing happened. You had a passenger? You mean somebody was fool enough to... Yep, a young lady. Picked her up at Laramie. Right pretty, too. Must be a Easterner. At least why she's wearing laces on a bustle. Well, uh, that's one young woman I'd like to have a look at. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. We're mighty blue. Oh, no! Hit the dirt, everybody. It's Lizzie Stone. Well, what's the matter? Where's everybody gone? I got you covered, Lizzie. I don't understand. Put up your hands and don't try to draw. I'm behind this stump, but I'm making a muddy... See, some mistake. Don't try none of your tricks. We know you're Lizzie Stone. But I'm not. What do you mean? I'm not Elizabeth Stone. Yeah? Who are you then? I'm her twin sister, Nancy. <laughs> Sir, there was Lizzie Stone, giving up a money-making profession and pretending to be her own twin sister. She told folks that she'd just come out from a finishing school in Charleston, and by George, if they didn't believe her, especially that young U.S. Deputy Marshal. The next afternoon, he took her for a walk and showed her the town. Then they stopped down under the cottonwood trees by the creek, and he sort of got his arm around her. What's the matter, Nancy? Oh, it, it's nothing, Marshal. Nothing y'all can help. My friends call me Slim. They do? That's because I'm tall and, well, slim. Now, come on, tell me what's troubling you. It's about my sister, Elizabeth. I had no idea she was so, so notorious. I guess I'll just have to take the next stage back to Charleston. Oh, you mustn't do that. Oh, y'all don't understand. I don't have any money. You could uh, get a job. <laughs> what kind of a job could there be for little old me? Well, uh, there must be something. 
Oh, sure, I know. In the library. Library? Sure. Lawyer Phillips passed on a couple of weeks ago. Left his law books and a copy of Shakespeare and the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. Nobody's claimed them, so we can start a library and you can run it. But I can't read. What? I mean, uh, that is, uh, I've been reading so much in that exclusive finishing suit. Why, then it's just the thing. Come on, say you'll stay. Aw, oh, Slim, do you really want me to stay? You don't know how much I want to stay. Marshal! Marshal! What is it, Ed? Just got word. Lizzie Stone's on the rampage. They say she's headed for Purple Gulch. Don't be ridiculous. She can't be. Afraid you don't know your sister very well, Nancy. Come on, Ed. Slim, Slim, what the... Now, look here, Jack. What are you doing? Yes, I, I wanted to talk to you. Sure had a hard time getting rid of that marshal. So it was you that started that story that I was on the rampage. Listen to me, Jack Wilde. I just, just wanted to have a little chat. Well, there's nothing I want to say to you except get out and leave me alone. Now, now, listen, boss. Boys had a little meeting this morning. I ain't interested. Well, you better be. They decided to go after that gold shipment, and they want you to lead them. When I say I'm through, I'm through. Afraid you can't quit, Elizabeth. Hey. What are you doing with that there now gun? We drew lots as to who was to bring you back, and I lost. Um, all right, Jack. I, I guess you win. Well, let's go. I just brought one horse. I'd have to ride double. Well, that's all right with me. But ain't you going to help me up into the saddle? After all, I am a lady. Oh, well, sure, boss. Here, raise your foot. Give me that gun! What? You're no lady, Elizabeth. Now, step back then. Hey, look, somebody's coming. It's the marshal. You wouldn't turn me in, not your I friend. Just, all right, Jack. I'll protect you, but you got to do just as I say. Now, remember, I've got your gun inside of this here fur muff. <laughs> My, you're back awful fast, Slim. It's not a false alarm. She weren't a rampaging at all. Looks like you were right about... Who's this fella? Uh, this is, uh, Jack. Uh, Jack Wilson. Wilson? Yes. You new to these parts, stranger? Uh, uh why yes, you... he's new. Honey, I'd swear I'd seen him before. Or a picture of him. Oh, that, that's possible, Slim. You see, he's a, a writer, and, and they always put his picture on his books. You see, he's, uh, he's going to stay here in Limestone for a while, uh, uh, working on a book. And uh, while he's here, he's going to help me in the library. Oh? Aren't you, Mr. Wilson? Well, I... Uh, Aren't I, you? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. In the library. <laughs> Tragedy of Macbeth by William Shakespeare. Thunder and lightning. Enter three witches, first witch. When shall we three meet again? In t what? What's the matter, Elizabeth? Oh, Jack, I don't want to hear any more about that today. Well, you're supposed to be able to read. You have to know what's in these books. I suppose so, but you're starting right in with witches. And last night it was Edgar Allan Poe, and I'm not sleeping so good lately. But Elizabeth. Oh, you go on, Jack, beat it. Anyway, here comes Slim. All right. See you later. Morning, Slim. Morning. Morning, Nancy. Hello. I, uh, uh, Nancy? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you've been here a couple of weeks now. Yes. Yeah. And I've known you a couple of weeks. Yes. Yeah. And, well, it isn't very long, but it's a couple of weeks. Go on, Slim. Well, uh, I was wondering. Yes. Well, what I mean is... Yes. No, sir, I just can't do it. Can't do what? Can't ask you to marry me. You mean you're afraid I'll say no? I'm afraid you'll say yes. What? I mean, I mean, I, I'd want you to say yes, but if you did, it'd be just awful. Well, I don't quite understand you all, Mr. Grant. Well, it's this way, Nancy. I'm plumb crazy about you, but I was sent here to capture Lizzie Stone. That's my assignment. And if we was to get married, you and me, I'd still have that to do. And it'd mean I'd have to spend my working hours gunning for my own sister-in-law. I wouldn't feel right shooting her down like a wild coyote. Why, it'd be almost like killing a relative. Well, if my sister deserves to be punished, I wouldn't hold it against you. No, eh? Nancy. I can't ask you to marry me until after I've captured Lizzie. Then you made up your mind, Slinger? Yep. No matter how long we have to wait, that's how it's got to be. I see. Well, 
Don't worry. It may not be too long. What do you mean? Oh, nothing really, except that, uh, well, I've just got a feeling you're going to capture my sister sooner than y'all think. Clear the streets, Lizzie Stone's riding into town. <laughs> town as fine a shooting up as it had had in the past 20 years. <laughs> Did my heart good to watch that gal pumping them six guns. She kept riding up and down the main drag, a blazing away and a shouting for them that was a hunting her to come and get her. But the local sheriff and his deputies was a hiding in the storm cellar under the saloon. And even Slim didn't seem much of a getting wound. Along about nightfall, Lizzie's horse began to get tired, what with all that galloping up and down, so Lizzie rode him out to the old MacDonald place on the edge of town, tethered him in back, and bedded down for the night. By the next morning, Slim had managed to round up enough law-abiding citizens to form a posse and led them down to the MacDonald place. Uh, <laughs> Listen, men, it's only an hour to sun up. If we aim to get her before daylight, we better be moving pretty quick. There's just one thing I can't figure. How'd she manage to hold out so long? What's she doing? Okay, Elizabeth, your call. There you are, three aces. Too bad, Jack. I filled my full house, deuces and three. Oh. That makes you owe me a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, okay. Well. Oh, I think you've lost enough for one evening. Besides, it's almost morning, and I've got to go home and change into my store clothes. If any of them mavericks makes a move while I'm gone, just fire a shot or two in any direction. That'll stop them. Oh, boss, this don't make sense. It does to me. Now raise that back window for me, will you? Sure is nobody out there. If they see me a-coming, they won't be. All right. There you go. I sure hope you know what you're doing. So do I, Jack. So do I. <laughs> All right, Lizzie, this is your last chance. Come out with your hands up or we're coming in to get you. Hmm. Ain't heard from her for the last hour. Maybe she's give us the slip. Maybe. Are you still in there, Lizzie? Lizzie! <laughs> she's there. Uh... Well, men, if you're not with me, I'm going in alone. Are you with me? I thought so. All right, Lizzie, here I come. Slim. You oughtn't to be here, Nancy. Ah. This ain't no place for a woman. Your sister's in there. Elizabeth! Yep, Slim. and I'm going in after her. But, but you can't, Slim. She'll kill y'all. Ain't got no choice. Yes, you have, Slim. I'll go. What? My sister's caused too much bloodshed already. And it's my duty to put a name to it. I won't let you, Nancy. Now, wait a minute, Marshal. The girl's got a point there. Sure, give her a chance. Yeah, we yeah. ain't got nothing to lose. Right. No, I won't hear of it. I've made up my mind, Slim. I'm going in there and have it out with Elizabeth. But, Nancy. Well, I guess I can't talk you out of it. Here, you better wear my gun. There you are. Do you know how to draw? Well, I guess it's like... No, no, no. You point them the other way. Oh, oh. No, like this. Well, goodbye, Nancy. And the best of luck, always. Goodbye. She's just walking right into her own funeral. No shots yet. Yeah, I'll bet Lizzie's waiting so she can take careful aim. Hey, look, she... She's on the porch. inside. Come on, let's move up. Yeah, come on. I hear what's going on. Hey, 
<laughs> what are you doing in here? You've got to give yourself up, Elizabeth. Not as long as I got a breath of life and a trigger finger. But they'll catch you sooner or later, and then it'll be worse. What do you mean, worse? I mean, think of the disgrace when they do pass final sentence. Think of what he'll mean to mother and father. It'll break mother's heart. <laughs> Why do you have to bring up mother and father, too? I know those people out there. They're good people. And if you really want to reform, they'll give you another chance. Oh, Nancy, Nancy, I'll give you my word. I'll, I'll go across the border and lead a good, clean, upstanding life in Utah. I believe you, Nat. Uh, Elizabeth, I I'll go out and, and speak to them. Friends of Limestone, I have a favor to ask. My sister uh, is we, uh, we heard her, Miss Nancy. If she wants to go away, she can go. That's right. Oh, that's right. You, you won't even try to stop her? Not on your life. Oh, sir. Well, you heard them, Elizabeth. Goodbye and good luck. Goodbye, sis. Don't reckon I'll ever see you again. Ever. Goodbye. All right, Jack. Now turn my horse loose and give him the whip. Here it goes. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah. There she goes. Yep. And look at how low she sits the saddle. Nancy, <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, honey, are you all right? Oh, of course I am, Slim. Nancy, that was a mighty brave thing you did. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Elizabeth is a going straight. It sure is. Well, now that the excitement's died down and the folks are going back to town, I guess you better give me back my gun. Lizzie. My name's... Oh, you... You know... I've known all along, Elizabeth. Ever since I recognized Jack Wyatt's picture from a wanted poster. Oh. Well, uh, what are you going to do about it? I ain't got no choice. You mean I gotta serve time? Yep. Just about life, I reckon. Oh, Slim. <laughs> and that's the way it happened. Nancy Stone and Slim Grant was married the very next week. Her uh, sister wasn't never heard from again. Just disappeared right off the face of the earth. As a matter of fact, nobody never heard nothing about her gang, neither. Excepting that there was something mighty peculiar about the boys who come to town right after the wedding and took jobs in the library. Yes, sir, maybe it ain't in the history books this way, but that's how they captured the toughest woman who ever galloped across the plain. Lizzie... Yeah, I... I mean, Elizabeth Stone. Stone. <laughs>